for hosting with such vigor and vibrancy and involving a whole of society approach. Private sector, civil society, the young, the old, bringing everyone together. I'd also like to thank the co-organizers, UNESCO, and also the Department for Science Innovation of South Africa, and all participants that made this uh, event so successful. So holding the STI Forum back to back with the African Regional Forum on Sustainable Development makes one thing extremely clear, that STI is an accelerator to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. It is, it is clear, unfortunately, that we are not on track for the SDGs. But with STI, we have a chance. Through science, technology, and innovation, we can have that great leap forward, that acceleration that we need to make the SDGs a reality in this decade of action. The Youth Boot Camp was an unbelievable success. Throughout this meeting, I have been approached by young people who participated in that event, and for some of them, they did not exaggerate to say it changed their lives. And I think, therefore, it's a clear message is that this can't be the first and the last. This has to be the first of many. And a number of their recommendations, first and foremost, that this youth, that youth boot camp be replicated at other science and, and technology and innovation forums that will take place in the future, but also that we try and replicate the initiative at sub-national levels, at district levels and regional levels, so that more people can be involved. That we find ways of also involving those that are less privileged, that have financing needs, and that we can find the finance to support them. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the key messages is that overall we must be science and evidence-based. We must align the critical skills that we're trying to develop with the needs for science, technology, and innovation. And our future must be STI-driven. We must also develop teaching that is supported by innovation. And to follow the, the lead of the minister from Zimbabwe, we can't just teach based on what we think the past needed. We need to teach on what the future needs. We need to offer the skills that are going to change society going forward and not simply provide the skills that are no longer relevant. And that's where the catalytic effect of science, technology, technology and innovation comes before. We must also recognize the importance of empowering women and girls in terms of the teaching of STI and accessibility to STI across our countries and recognize the cross-cutting effect that this has as an accelerator to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Investment in people at all levels, in children, in adults, across all levels of society, and engaging in communities is a way to make sure that science, technology, and information permeates all levels of society. It was also recognized that governments need support to develop coherent STI policies, and they also need support that these can be adapted to their local situation. There also needs to be support to empower the development of locally based technologies, whether that be in terms of support, in terms of the patent process, the recognition of intellectual property, or even in terms of financing available for them to upscale the development of their projects. We need to invest more in research, and this should be done through numerous institutions, whether it be through primary education systems as well as tertiary and universities. We need to engage rural populations to ensure that there is less of the urban-rural divide. Before concluding, we must also use science, technology, and innovation to address one of the biggest threats to our existence, and that is climate change. And science, technology, and innovation can help us address fit-for-purpose solutions to immediate problems, whether they be floods or droughts. The reality is that these phenomena are going to happen increasingly often. We also address the issue of open science, increasing the accessibility on our continent to knowledge, knowledge that can be used for research and for transformation, but recognizing also the risks that go with that and the need to adopt strategies that protect African intellectual property, but provide a platform for the sharing of knowledge on the widest possibly possible basis and so that people are not constrained in their ability to research based on their income. So to conclude, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we need to redesign the education pipeline using STI as a framework to allow innovation to be embedded in our societies. 
We also need to make sure that these frameworks are supported financially, both at the level of governments as well as mobilizing support for the, from the international community. And we need to support institutions, whether they be universities or other organizations that are involved in STR on a daily basis. I thank you very much. We are very pleased that this forum has brought about tangible results and we look forward to implementing them going forward. We look forward to the next event next year. Thank you very much.